Good evening, everyone. The meeting is now convened. It is 6 p.m., and I would like to ask everyone to please silence your cell phone or any other electronic devices at this time. My name is Julian Alvarez, and I will be the presiding over the meeting today until a board president is elected later this evening. A quorum of the board is present in the boardroom. They are from my right to left, Dr. Rosalva. Um, I'm just going to name them because I think we're out of order, but I'm just going to name them, and then they're going to introduce themselves a little bit later to you. So we have Jessica Ochoa, Dr. Carlos Margo, Anita Chavez, Alyssa Pena, Dr. Rosalba Hernandez, and Mr. Celso Gomez. And again, my name is Julian Alvarez. We will do our introductions in a moment, but please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States and the Texas flags. If you would all please face the flag, American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, we can face the Texas flag as well. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may be seated. Again, I want to thank everyone. As the community is aware, the Texas Education Agency intervened in the La Jolla ISD on February 1st by appointing a new board and a superintendent. Through the transition, this new governance team is committed to focusing on improving student outcomes. We look forward to partnering with you in this new role and working with the superintendent to give our students the tools they need for a successful future. I would like to take this opportunity for each of my fellow board members to introduce themselves briefly, beginning with my far right, and then we will finish up with me. So, doctor? Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rosalba Hernandez, a Valley native and a proud graduate of La Jolla ISD. My childhood years were spent in Quica de la Garza Elementary and Memorial Middle School. After graduation, I decided to pursue a career in nursing, and even though we had to leave the valley to further my education and obtain my terminal degree, we decided to come right back home to our friends and family. I am serving in this school board to ensure that our students receive the best available education so that they can realize their potential and exceed their highest expectations. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Jessica Ochoa, and I have been a resident of La Jolla ISD for about 20 years now. And my husband is a graduate of La Jolla High School. It is an honor to serve on this board and to this community. I come as a parent, primarily, and I also come as a community member. I bring my education as a public administrator and my experience as a healthcare and business administrator. This is what I bring to serve on the board. Appreciate it, thank you. Hello, my name is Anita Chavez. I'm a proud second generation graduate of La Jolla High School. Um, I found my passion here in La Jolla for the sciences, which led me to get my bachelor and master's in environmental sciences. After I got my master's in Houston, I got a bit homesick, so I decided to move back within the district. I'm here before you all today to ensure that all of La Jolla ISD resources go towards the success of our students. I strive for all students here to find their passion like I did so they can be equipped for their life outside of high school. So hopefully they too will come back to the community and ensure the continued success of future La Jolla ISD students. Thank you. Next. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Ali Sapena. Um, my family does call me by my middle name, which is Karina. I am a very proud graduate of La Jolla ISD, specifically from the class of 2006. I do have a master's in business administration, and I am currently employed by Ford Motor Company out of Detroit, Michigan. I've been very fortunate to um, amass a wealth of knowledge and experience by working at companies like General Mills, uh, CBS, and ESPN. And I am serving on this board not only to give back to a community that I feel has been so fundamental to my success, but more importantly, to help prioritize our students and help ensure their success. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. My name is Celso Gomez, Jr. I am a proud graduate of La Jolla ISD, class of 2000. My wife and I live in La Jolla, Texas here for over 15 years. 
Uh, she's also graduated from La Jolla High School. Uh, we have three children going to La Jolla ISD, one in elementary, one in middle school, and one in high school. Um, I'm excited and motivated to be one of your school board members. Um, I am doing this for the students' well-being to make sure they are college and career ready. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Carlos Margo. Uh, I'm originally from Rio Grande City. I now live in McAllen. I uh, received an undergraduate from Texas A&M University in English, a uh, Master in Business Administration, and a Doctorate uh, in Higher Education Administration from Texas Tech University. I'm very glad to be here. Um, I currently work at, at South Texas College um, and do a lot of the workforce uh, training programs. As dean, I oversee a lot of the CT programs, workforce customized training, industrial training. And in fact, we've had a lot of uh, La Jolla ISD students come through our campus, at our technology campus, that is, and take a lot of courses, a lot of programs, dual credit programs, over a thousand per year. And I'm very proud of that. I've personally seen a lot of the students come in from La Jolla and they are eager to learn. They have that thirst for knowledge. And the reason I'm here is to continue with that uh, progress to make sure that student outco outcomes are the priority and through proper governance to ensure that I can utilize my experience in higher education to, uh, for the betterment of the school district. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Carlos Margo. As referenced earlier, my name is Julian Alvarez. I am a first generation college graduate. Um, I graduated from Texas a and University in Kingsville. Uh, I am now the executive vice president at Lone Star National Bank, representing all the banks, not only in South Texas, but also in Austin. I recently moved down from Austin. Uh, I was the Texas Workforce Commissioner representing labor. I'm very familiar with the La Jolla School District and I've been to this venue multiple times. I awarded the uh, JET grant to the CTE program here at La Jolla where you guys were actually uh, awarded uh, state-of-the-art welding equipment, first of its kind around the state. And so we were very excited at the time to be awarding you all the, the, um, the grant. Uh, I also served under a United States Senator, uh, Kay Bailey Hutchinson, uh, early on. And then prior to that, I was uh, working at Texas State uh, Institute, Texas State Technical Institute in Harlingen. Uh, again, I am a, an educator by trade, and I'm very excited to be here tonight. So thank you for having us. Thank you, board members, and I look forward to serving with all of you. I'd also like to give an opportunity for our new superintendent, Dr. Marcy Sorensen, a couple of minutes to introduce herself to the La Jolla community. Good evening. I never know if these things are on or not. So good evening, community, stakeholders, parents, family members, caregivers. I am humbled to be here tonight with you as your new superintendent. I've been on the job for four days now and it has been absolutely incredible. I have been just welcomed by the community. We visited seven schools, had lunch with counselors, met with all principals and just have had an incredible um, seven, uh, four days, uh, uh, boots on the ground. Um, a little bit about my background is I was um, in Chicago Public Schools for over 20 years, ending my career there as a high school principal for 11 years. Um, spent time in Madison, Wisconsin as curriculum and instruction executive director and deputy chief of high schools. Um, then, so gloriously, um, spent time as the chief academic officer in Fort Worth ISD in Fort Worth, Texas, and which was my introduction to my love for Texas. I spent also, um, I come here from Virginia, the Virginia Department of Education, where I was the deputy superintendent of teaching and learning for the Commonwealth um, of Virginia. And so I'm very humbled and excited to be here with you and be your superintendent that is gonna advocate fiercely for the students and the educators of this community and really do great work to ensure that we are completely focused on student outcomes and making sure that we are transparent, that we are communicating, that we are striving for excellence, and that we are collaborating with the community consistently. So I thank you for welcoming me to the community, and I look forward to meeting with you in groups um, for the next couple of months. So thank you very much, and I'll turn it back over to um, Mr. Alvarez. Thank you, Dr. Sorensen. The board looks forward to supporting you in the work ahead as you and your team improve student outcomes for La Jolla ISD. 
Our first order of business is to hear from the community. We are glad that each and every one of you are here tonight, and we look forward to working with you, not only today, but in, in the future. Only those registered to speak will be able to address the board in accordance with board policy. Any person who did not timely register will not be able to speak during public comment, but we do invite you to register to speak at our next meeting scheduled for February 28th. We have a few no number of people that will be speaking tonight registered to speak this evening, and I am requesting that each speaker be given three minutes to make their remarks. We ask that the speakers refrain from using individuals' names, especially students, because the identity of the students is protected by law. You may, however, say the name of your own child if you wish. I ask that you please respect the procedures that are in place and the other speakers and audience members and end your comments promptly when your time has expired. The first speaker registered, uh, I will be uh, now turning it over to Elise Apeña, who will be calling out the names. And as she calls out your name, would you please make your way to the podium? Thank um, you. Our first speaker is Marta Munoz. If you can make your way to the podium, please. Thank you. Good evening, members of La Jolla Board of Members, um, of Managers. My name is Martha Munoz. I'm here to represent mayor and administration of the city of Peñitas. Unfortunately, our council ha also has a meeting tonight, so they could not attend themselves. They, however, do not miss the opportunity to express their support for your endeavor. La Jolla ISD is a critical factor for our local economy. It employs over 4,000 of our local residents. It spans multiple municipalities and over incorporated areas of the county. The city once had a close partnership with the district that we look forward to having once again as both our entities look towards the very bright future of the western Hidalgo County. In regard to the city of Peñitas voting site located at JFK, um, JFK Elementary School, the city is available for any on-site assistance as needed. The city will handle any off-site issues governed by the city ordinances. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we will have Christina Salinas. Please make your way to the podium. Good evening, Dr. Sorensen, Board of Managers, welcome to our school district. We are looking forward to working with you in any manner that is needed to bring the district to out of the situations we were experiencing. As a resident, graduate, taxpayer, and former teacher, we welcome all of you to our school district. If we can assist you in any way, please don't hesitate to contact me. We are very happy, more than words can explain, that you have accepted the role of bringing the district out of the trouble that has been taking place for many years. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wings. Next, we have um, Vanessa Brown. Good evening. My name is Vanessa Brown and I am the president of the La Jolla Association of Texas Professional Educators, representing 927 members at La Jolla ISD. Founded by educators and for educators, ATP is the leading educators association in Texas and the largest independent educators association in the United States. ATPE exists to serve the needs of Texas teachers, paraprofessionals, administrators, and all public education employees and fights for our schools on the local, state, and national level. The ATPE philosophy is simple. 
We believe it takes everyone working together to improve Texas public schools. We work with all stakeholders in public education, regardless of political affiliation or platform. We work collaboratively with all sides of any debate to find the best solution, and we represent the priorities defined by our members, working educators who are passionate about Texas public schools. At La Jolla ISD, our membership has a number of concerns that we have been sharing with the board over the past year and that continue to be of concern. First of all, compensation. Teachers with master's degrees at the early colleges and the Academy of Health Science professions are not being compensated at the same rate as their colleagues at the comprehensive high schools. This causes teachers with advanced degrees to hesitate to work at those campuses and creates stress and inequality where none should exist. We request a reconciliation of stipends between the comprehensive and specialty high schools to ensure equity. Two, health insurance. In the most current iteration of our insurance, co-pays have increased. The idea that this only affects employees who visit the doctor as if this were a small subset of professionals is unfortunate. Employees who saw no increase in salary, who are working day in and day out at the campuses and around the district with our students, and are now paying more for basic health care coverage and prescriptions that they need in order to be their best for our students. We request reevaluation of the health insurance coverage to ensure that all employees are able to receive services without further increase in premiums and copays. Three, the pre-K three program. This program which our district offers to all three year olds is crucial in closing the achievement gap that comes from serving students in a predominantly economically disadvantaged community. Our students benefit greatly from exposure to high quality instruction, socialization, and opportunities to learn in their native language and support of their families from communities in our schools. We, we, re we request excuse me, the continuation of services for our pre-K-3 students and their families in our community. And lastly, communication. Pardon me, Ms. Brown, but yes. your three minute time is up. Thank, Thank you. you for your input. Thank you, Ms. Brown. <coughs> Next, we have Noel Guerra. Please make your way to the podium. Uh, good evening, uh, new governing body and uh, superintendent for La Jolla ISD. Wish all of you all the best and endless success. My name is Noel Guerra and I represent concerned parents from Juarez Lincoln High School. Two years ago, I began advocating for equal opportunity at the extracurriculum level for Juarez Lincoln. Since then, there has been uh, improvements in which the student body is grateful for and to all the parents and thank the prior administration. Nonetheless, they still find themselves at a disadvantage compared to surrounding districts and sister high schools. Let me give you a couple of examples. Yesterday, we had a home game scheduled at Juarez Lincoln, but we had to play away 30 miles. We as parents had to drive over there, but some kids don't have the advantage of their parents of driving over there. They all wish they would have had their parents there. Our gym just recently got re renovated, spent like over $700,000 and it's leaking water. Uh, the training rooms, which was due, I mean, it, it got damaged due to, uh, uh, to a water leak that damaged the, the gym, uh, hasn't been replaced with, uh, with the proper uh, resources. Uh, that got wet. The wrestling room as well, the, the mats have not been replaced, only some that were, had already been ordered prior to, uh, to that, uh, that incident. Uh, you know, w work orders, what, what I'm being told, that work orders are being uh, submitted but not paid attention to. The budgets, uh, inflation has increased, 
budgets have gone down for these kids. We see, we, we see our kids not with the proper equipment. Yesterday they didn't have helmets. You know, there's a lot, a lot of opportunity there uh, as far as for safety and, 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 and to compete. Uh, coaches, understaffed. Last uh, season for football, we were understaffed four coaches. All the other uh, 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 sports are also understaffed. Coaches have to coach baseball, basketball, or what have you. It's not fair for the kids uh, to be uh, uh, missing coaches. It's like missing a teacher. Uh, but it's okay, it's only Juarez. I have three kids, two of them have uh, graduated from Juarez and one is in high school, graduating this year. And like all the graduating students from prior years, they have represented Juarez uh, La Jolla ISD with pride. But at the same time, they were not provided equal opportunity to compete on their federal obligation. Pardon me, sir, but your three minutes are up. Thank, Thank you. you for your input. Thank you very much. Next, we have Ms. Uh, Filomena Leo. If you can make your way to the podium, please. Good evening. I want to start by paraphrasing a, um, a bumper sticker that some of you may have seen on the road. And mine would read, I wasn't born in La Jolla, but I got here just as fast as I could. <laughs> and <laughs> I stand before you, Dr. Sorensen, Mr. Alvarez, and members of this board, stand before you as a parent of five graduates, all successful in their careers. And I cannot but help attribute that fact to the realization that their formation years in education took place in this school district. I stand before you as a former employee of this school district. I walk into this building and I think, hey, I remember when, and so many uh, employees of the district that I recognize. And I am particularly touched that Mr. Gomez and Mr. Benya are in your midst as they were colleagues, classmates of one of my children. And in the audience, I also want to, I am here to speak as a former employee for the many employees who have gone before us and who are here now and who have taken such pride as much as you all each have expressed pride in that logo that is on the wall behind you. We lived that commitment. We believed in this district. There were many then, there are many now, and we have great expectations that all of you have taken on this commitment because you recognize that you have something to contribute to the La Jolla Independent School District. And so we welcome you with great expectations. And I just wanted to plant a bug in your ear, so to speak, to inform you, if you're not already aware, that August of 2025, and that's not too far away, will mark the 100th anniversary of our school district. And that I hope, Dr. Sorensen, once you've had time to deal with all of the other massive problems that uh, school operations take, that you will consider uh, an appointment of a community employee committee to form, to put together something that we can be proud of too in celebration come August 2020. Pardon me, ma'am, but your three minutes have expired. Thank you. Thank you for your input. I just want to invite our resident historian, Mr. Amancio Chapa, to join us. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Next, we have Ms. Miriam, and I cannot pronounce the last name, but sorry about that. If you can just announce your last name at the podium. Good evening. 
Um, my name is Miriam Silva. I'm actually a product of La Jolla. I uh, have three children, one of them who already graduated from the district, one of them who will be graduating this year, and I have another one that will be graduating in the next five years. And um, we have never felt a sense of hopelessness as we have in the past couple of years. And we're grateful for your presence, okay? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the board. First, I'd like to say thank you to all board managers and our new superintendent um, who have chosen to selflessly serve. As you step into this new role, you will need to understand what parents and staff's reality is. Parents and staff are living in fear, hopelessness, and with our voices silenced. Our community's trust will only be gained with actions, time, and results. As you look behind you, you should see people who expect change, but instead you will see a few faces who, are, who will advocate for continuing with the corrupt system. I ask you to look and remember those faces of individuals who played a role in allowing this corruption to happen, and that includes current administrators as well. Unfortunately, we have lived in constant community fear, suppression, and hopelessness. This is the result of years of manipulation, thre threats, and retaliation. As the weeks come, come, board managers and superintendents will be observed from a distance by our community members. Some are our parents and some are staff members, but they are all directly affected by the decisions made here today and made here throughout your, your stay. They are stakeholders in the success of our district. Commissioner Moore has said the TEA step, it was gonna step in as a result of extreme public corruption. But it goes deeper than that. Because around 80% of our staff members live in our district, our leaders have chosen to lead by threatening people's livelihoods. And nepotism and compadrismo runs wild. I understand wanting to help one's family but not at the expense, expense corruption and ultimately the humiliation of our entire district. We are a joke to the rest of the districts and are seen as a cautionary tale for what happens when uneducated, greedy, corrupt, and unqualified people fill important roles. I'd like to thank TA for taking the first steps towards breaking this mafia-like monopoly of power. My hope is that our community's voices and concerns begin to matter. All these things will take time, but unfortunately we don't have that luxury when it brings me to the reason why I am here. I am here to address the current situation with JFK Elementary. And I know that you all are well aware of it. Pardon me, ma'am, but your three minutes have expired. Thank you for Thank your Thank you input. so much. Thank you very much. Next we have Brenda Lee Salinas. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Brenda Lee Salinas, and I'm also proud graduate of La Jolla, class of 1984, and it's a great honor to be the president of La Jolla AFT. And on behalf of our members, I would like to extend a warm welcome and congratulate our new superintendent and our board of managers. We believe that your appointment by the Commission of Education was made with the best interest of our district and the community in mind. We are very optimistic about establishing a strong and positive partnership with our new leaders, and that is the seven plus Dr. Sorensen, which is eight leaders that we are very excited uh, to have here in our district, because we also believe that you will bring positive change and effective governance in our district. And it does take a community that values honesty and transparency to create a culture of ethical and effective governance with an unwavering focus on improving student outcomes. 
So together, I know, we know, as a united community, we can achieve this. Si se puede. May God bless our district. Now furthermore, as the upcoming elections draw near, we kindly request that the decision made by the previous board and superintendent to use JFK Elementary as a political site be reconsidered. We firmly believe that this decision was unethical and impolitic. And the safety of our students and school employees must be of utmost priority over political interests. So let's work together to ensure that our campuses become safe haven for all our students and school employees. And also I want to mention that at this time during that election that's going to take place, um, our students are going to be taking the TELPAS testing, so that's going to interrupt. So please keep that in mind. Again, congratulations to our new superintendent and board of managers, and we wish you all the best. We are excited for a brighter future for our district. And Dr. Sorensen, I did mention to you that the La Jolla FT had filed a grievance against La Jolla ISD. So we're willing, if you review our member survey and take this into consideration, all their concerns, you know, we will remove that grievance. Thank you. Can you give us the blind card? Oh, and this is just a token of appreciation, just a small gesture. Thank you for your comments. Thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes our hearing of registered speakers for this meeting. Thank you to all the speakers. Our next business item is agenda item number five. It's to elect a president of the board. And so I'm going to ask my board members, are there any nominations for board president? I nominate Julian Alvarez to serve as board president. Is there a second? I second the nomination. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, we will now vote on the nomination. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. The ayes have it by unanimous vote. Colleagues, I want to thank you for the vote of confidence that you have in me. I look forward to working with all of you as the new board president. Thank you. Moving to agenda item number six, election of a vice president. I ask, are there any nominations for, vo for board vice president? I nominate Anita Chavez to serve as board vice president. Are there any, is there a second? I second the nomination. Is there any, uh, any other nominations from the floor? Okay. We will now vote on the nominees. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign by saying nay. The ayes have it. It's a unanimous vote. Congratulations. Thank you all for your vote. I look forward to working with you all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, moving to item, agenda item number seven, election of board secretary. I ask, are there any nominations for board secretary? <laughs> I nominate Alisa Peña to serve as board secretary. Are there any others? Is there a second? I second the nomination. Great. Are there any other nominations? I see none. So we'll, we will now vote on the nomination. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say nay. None. The ayes have it. Unanimous vote. Congratulations. Thank you for the confidence in me, my colleagues. I look forward to serving the La Jolla community as your secretary. Great. Congratulations to both of you. We now will move on to the next agenda item, which is 8A, which relates to the consideration for approval and ratification of our appointed superintendent, Dr. Marcy Sorensen, as acting superintendent and vote on the acting superintendent employment and relocation agreement. The board will take action on formally naming Dr. Sorensen as superintendent of schools and approving her employment contract 
at Superintendent of Schools during a board meeting scheduled for February 28th. But tonight we will consider the interim title as acting superintendent and the contract that governs the interim time period. Is there a motion concerning this item? I move that we approve Dr. Marcy Sorensen as the acting superintendent and approve the acting superintendent employment and relocation agreement. Is there a second? I second the motion. Is there any discussion needed? Seeing that there's no discussion, we will now vote on the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion passes by unanimous vote. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am humbled, honored, and just so grateful. Thank you. Great. Congratulations. Okay. Next agenda item is 8B. Relates to the consideration of filing an application to waive the superintendent certification requirement by the Texas Education Agency's Commission of Education. Dr. Sorensen most recently served as a Deputy Superintendent of Teaching and Learning for the Virginia Department of Education, serving over one million students. Dr. Sorensen has also served in the role of Chief Academic Officer in the Fort Worth ISD, Deputy Chief of Secondary Schools in Madison Metropolitan School District in Wisconsin, and has school principal and was school principal for multiple campuses in Chicago Public Schools in Chicago, Illinois. Is there a motion concerning this item? I move that the board submit an application to waive the superintendent certification requirement with the TEA Commissioner of Education. Is there a second? I second the motion. For purposes of clarification, the waiver we are seeking is a temporary waiver for us for up to three years, but remain requires Dr. Sorensen to obtain um, um, to obtain for Texas Superintendent super, uh, Certification before the waiver expires. Is there any further discussion? We will now vote on the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion passes by unanimous vote. Ladies and gentlemen, the next item on the agenda is 8C. Relates to the consideration of temporarily suspending board policy B local and C local. Suspending these policies will allow the board and superintendent an opportunity to review meeting dates and times and hiring practices. We are requesting that this be suspended until the board can more fully evaluate our local policies. This would be temporarily suspension and the board will review and make determinations on the policies in the near future. Is there a motion concerning this item? I move that the board suspends board policy B local and DC local. Is there a second? I second the motion. Is there any discussion needed? Seeing none, we will now vote on the motion. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no or nay. The motion passes by unanimous vote. The next agenda item is 8D, relates to the authorization for the superintendent to execute an engagement agreement for legal services with the law firm Thompson & Horton LLP as general counsel for the district and counsel for the board. Is there a motion concerning this item? I move that the board authorize Dr. Sorensen to execute an agreement, an engaging agreement with Th Thompson and Horton LLP as general counsel for the district and counsel for the board. I second the motion. Great. Is there any discussion needed? Seeing no discussion, we will now vote on the motion. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion passes un by unanimous vote. The next agenda item, 8E, relates to the consideration of requesting of Texas Education Agency Conservator to support, to support the board, superintendent and district during the intervention. The board sees value in having an additional member of the, of the governance team to provide insight, guidance, and support to both the superintendent and board members during this time. This request is considered with the composition of the governance team in other districts with similar interventions, 
Is there a motion concerning this item? I move that the board request the appointment of a conservator from the Texas Education Agency to support the governance team during this intervention. Is there a second? I second the motion. Is there any discussion needed? Seeing that there's no discussion, we will now vote on the motion. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion passes by unanimous vote. The next agenda item is 8F, relates to the approval of the Human Trafficking School Safety Protocol, HTSSP. This board condemns any act of human tra trafficking and wants to ensure that every campus has a plan to keep our children safe and have proper protocols in place to address any reports of human trafficking. I move the board approve the Human Trafficking School Safety Protocol as written. Is there a second? I second the motion. Is there any discussion needed? Seeing no discussion, we will now vote on the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion passes unanimous vote. I'd like to say thank you to the community members that shared with us today, that, that shared with us uh, their, their attendance with us today. We appreciate your participation in the process. Thank you to the La Jolla ISD parents for your partnership the work ahead, for the work ahead. Thank you to the La Jolla ISD staff for your professionalism during this time of transition. We look forward to seeing you all again at our next meeting scheduled for February 28th, 28th as mentioned earlier. As there is no further business and we have no other agenda items uh, for closed session this evening, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? I second the motion. Is there any discussion needed? Seeing no discussion, we will now vote on the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The motion passes by unanimous vote. And this evening's meeting is adjourned. It is seven, I mean, 642. Thank you and all have a safe evening tonight. Traveling home. <laughs>